meteorologist Brian Davis and your Storm Team 2 forecast. And my daughter was there too. She's friends with Megan Rosencrantz. So let's go ahead and check out that forecast. And here's what we've got coming up for you tonight. We'll find temperatures around 45 degrees at 7 o'clock. Those clouds breaking a little bit. 41 degrees at 9 p.m. And then we'll really start to see a clearing trend here late this evening and into the overnight hours. That'll set the stage for a fairly chilly morning. Those readings well down into the 30s. But with all kinds of sunshine tomorrow, upper 40s at noon and 54 degrees at 5 p.m. Let's check out those headlines tonight. Uh, skies clearing out as high pressure builds in. We will see some of that patchy frost late tonight. Uh, we're still not in the growing season yet here in the Dayton area in the Miami Valley, but down south Cincinnati, southern Ohio, southeast Indiana, northern Kentucky, they are, and they do have frost advisories in effect for those areas. We'll see our frost advisory start here in about the next 10 days or so if we get cold. And lots of sunshine is expected for the daytime on Tuesday as we lose those clouds. We're seeing a few breaks in the overcast on the Bryant heating and cooling camera as we look to the south and west, but still plenty of cloud cover tonight. SVG Chevrolet camera up in Greenville showing the overcast skies and still a bit of a breeze blowing out there as well, but no precipitation really to speak of on live Doppler 2 HD. We've had some of those breaks in the clouds around, but more northwest of us, that's where we're seeing a solid clearing line starting to work into northwest Indiana. And that'll push southeastward. This area of high pressure near St. Louis will slide east across the Great Lakes tonight. Night, bring us quiet weather pattern uh, for the next couple of days. Now the wind still coming out of the west and northwest about 10 to 15 miles an hour, but as that high slides eastward tonight, we'll really see those winds back off along with the clearing skies. We're at 47 degrees, west wind 13 miles an hour, 66 percent the relative humidity, a lot colder than it was at this time yesterday. Highs on Easter up into the low to mid 70s for us, but we're looking at readings anywhere from about 20 to 30 degrees colder than it was at this time yesterday through much of Indiana, Kentucky, Ohio, West Virginia, and into Pennsylvania. Of course, the areas that were already cold yesterday starting to warm up to the west of us into Illinois. Weather check readings tonight. Don Chateau in Sydney, 47 degrees. John Kingham in the upper 40s in Tip City. Barbara Richards, one of the warmer numbers there, 50 degrees in Kettering, but most of our weather checkers tonight in the mid and upper 40s. So the clouds still around this evening, but breaking up tonight, especially around midnight and beyond. We'll get back to plenty of sunshine tomorrow morning. Don't forget those sun Sunglasses, you will need them. And sunny skies throughout the day. Sunscreen in order, too, if you're going to be out and about uh, with that higher and higher sun angle this time of year. Our future track forecast still showing dry weather into Wednesday. Just a few scattered clouds heading our way later in the day, uh, getting back to partly sunny skies then. But tonight, skies clear out, some patchy frost. Northwest winds 10 to 20, drop off to 5 to 10. We'll head down to freezing. Sunny skies tomorrow should be around 55, light north winds. Your hour by our forecast, 43 at 10, upper 40s at noon, low to mid 50s in the afternoon, still around 52 at 6 p.m. And the Storm Team 2 seven day forecast, upper 60s on Wednesday after upper 30s in the morning, partly sunny skies, but rain comes back Wednesday night and Thursday, showers and a few thunderstorms, still mild Thursday, 67, but cooler on Friday, a chance of showers high 54. The weekend looks like it'll dry out. And we'll have partly sunny skies, but temperatures below normal with lows, lows in the 30s and highs in the 50s. So active weather yesterday, but it looks pretty quiet Calm next down. couple of days. Okay, sounds good, Brian.